So I had to get on here and share some thoughts on this Saturday morning with you guys. I was in my bed early this morning watching a segment from the Tamron Hall show and she was interviewing a fashion, a notable fashion designer called, I think it's Norma, her name is Norma Camilla. And she was talking to her about her basically finding her soulmate at 65, y'all. 65 years old. And she's actually 75 when they were doing the interview, but she was told by an astrologer that she would find her soulmate at 65. And the points that I found interesting in the whole segment was a lot of what um, Norma had to share. And that was... She, when Tamron asked her, um, how, why did it have to take you that long to find your soulmate? She said that she, okay, when she was younger, she was married and she wound up going through a divorce. And so she left with $98 in her pocket, but she said that she left with her soul. And y'all, I thought that was so key. Oh my God. Yo, we, it's so crazy. We, as women, we're willing to give up our soul for so many things, for money, for um, s um, class, for social class, for fame. And yet we lose the very part of us that makes us beautiful. We lose the very part of us that keeps us alive. And I thought that was just so powerful when she said that she left with her soul. And so she wound up becoming a famous fashion designer. And so all those years, she she worked on her business. She worked on, you know, just living her life and doing what she loved to do. But she said that she believed that it took that amount of time for her to finally come into a place to receive her soulmate because she still had to work on herself, her self-love and her self-respect. And she said, she talked about what we, how we love ourselves and how we treat ourselves and how we respect ourselves is, is it's an energy. And when we transmit that energy of self-hatred, of worthlessness, of a low self-esteem out into the world, we can't expect to attract true love, authenticity, um, respect. Um, we can't, we can't expect to attract true love for our lives. And she said that I was always worried about pleasing everyone else and making everyone else comfortable that I forgot myself. And she said, I believe it took me that amount of time for me to get to a place where I could finally be at peace with myself and love and care for myself in order to be able to finally attract that true love that I deserved. And she said that key word, she said that I deserved. And ladies, you have to ask yourself, what do you really deserve? What do you really deserve? Do you really deserve love? Because if you really deserve love, then would you allow yourself to be treated the way you do, not only by others, but most importantly by yourself? Y'all, how we treat ourselves is, how, is basically how we're teaching others to treat us. And so if we can't treat ourselves with the love and the respect that we believe that we deserve, then there's no way in the world that we can expect that from someone else. And so I thought that was very powerful that she mentioned what she deserved because a lot of us, if we would take the time to reflect on our relationships, to reflect on the persons that we're with or the things that we're doing to keep people we would in turn need to reflect on what we truly think that we deserve. Um, so she talked about that and then she talked about um, the energy that she puts out and the energy that we put out, we can only, common sense can only tell us that we're going to receive back that same energy. And by the way, she looked great. She looked youthful. There's one thing as I'm getting older that I love and... When I see it in other women, I have to compliment them. When I see that glow 
that youthful glow in other women, that glow of love, that aura that they're giving off, I have to go up to them and compliment them. I have to say, wow, ma'am, you look beautiful. Y'all, we think it's about the... We're so scared of getting older, especially as women, y'all, especially as women. We're so scared of growing older. And I think it's because we don't realize the beauty of growing older. There's a beauty that comes with age, and that's the wisdom. That's the self-assurity. That's the self-confidence that you receive. That's the self-discovery that you, that you receive that makes aging a beautiful journey and a beautiful process. We're so... Y'all, we're so hooked up on the looks. Oh, the gray hair and the wrinkles and the this and the that. That we're forgetting that growing older means growing. And you have to ask yourself, I'm aging, but am I growing? Am I maturing? Because many of us are aging and that's about all we're doing. And then, of course, we're going to hate the process. But I love the process. I, Y'all, I love reaching another year and looking back and saying, wow, look how much I've grown in that past year. I'm not saying I've been perfect. God knows I'm not saying I've been perfect. But what I'm saying is I've grown and I'm, I'm coming to a better place of understanding who I am, understanding my worth, understanding my value and loving myself. That's what growing older is about. It's about a, sol a sol solidification that you begin to operate in as you're getting older, as you're maturing. And so it had me think about something else too. And it comes to the whole aging process and this fountain of youth that we're constantly looking for, especially as ladies, um, because so much of our value is placed on how old we are and our age. And one thing I will say I've noticed, because I've watched a few videos and a few segments of women who look fabulous, and I'm talking about they're in their 70s, they're in their 60s, and I'm talking about they are looking fabulous. It's one, they don't have no stress in their life. They are not stressed the heck out. They are not stressed by their jobs. They are doing what they love. They are living a passionate life. And they're not stressed out by people and situations and relationships that mean them harm instead of good. And it showed me something very key. And that is, we will reflect the love that we receive. And let me tell you what I mean by that. When we are with people who love us, who nourish us, who pour into us, then we will reflect that, especially as women. We are receivers. So we have to think that we receive everything that's being given to us. And not only that, but we not only receive it, but we become impregnate with it and then we birthed it. And my question to you, especially you ladies out here, what are you birthing? You know, you, we, we, we strive so much to be beautiful and to be young and youthful, but what are we receiving into ourselves? Are we receiving true love? And not only from other people, but are we receiving it from ourselves? You can tell when a person loves themselves. You can tell when a person has been nourished on love. They have a youthful glow about them. They have an inner beauty that exudes from them. And let me tell you, what you feed yourself. Think about, think about not just in the food aspect, but what you feed your mind your body and your soul is what is going to exude from you. It's what you're going to birth. It's what you're going to reflect. And you have to think about that. Everything is energy. They say energy is neither destroyed. It's only transferred. What are the energies that you're receiving? What are the spirits? We call them spirits. Spiritual people may call them energies, but we call them spirits. What are the spirits that you're receiving? Remember the movie from Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and that king had that demon in him, that spirit, that demonic force in him? What did he look like? He looked old, shriveled up. He could barely talk. He could barely move. Been sitting on the throne for like 20 years in that state. 
And when that demon, when that spirit was released off of him, instantly 20 years he gained back. Instantly. Y'all, we got to be careful on who, what energies and what spirits we're drawing from people. Because that will be the key to whether you age youthfully or you age. We have to be careful with what we are feeding ourselves and whether we're loving on ourselves because we could be like, well, I'm single. I don't have anybody, but yeah, but are you loving yourself? Are you feeding yourself love? Cause let me tell you, love is a nourish. It's nourishing. Love is nourishment for your body, soul, and spirit. And so if you're not nourishing yourself with love, you're going to reflect that. I don't care how much plastic surgery you can do. I don't care how many nips and tucks that you can get. You are going to reflect the love that you're receiving. So I implore you on today, y'all receive love, receive love, not only from others, but most importantly, receive it from yourself. Because when you receive it from yourself, not only will you exude beauty, not only will you exude youthfulness, but you will also attract that person that you've been looking for. And how, how long are you willing to wait, ladies? Are you willing to wait to 65? Are you willing to wait for what you deserve?